Paul Jack and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. This evening, we bring you two teams matched up as they've been so many times before. Eddie, your thoughts? Well, we have two teams that are intense, Doc, and they don't like each other very much, so stay tuned. I expect some fireworks here tonight. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. He covers and holds on. Franz keeps his team in it. That's another odd man rush against, but he's equal to the task. Just under nine minutes played here in the first. Still nothing on the score sheet yet. They win it. Let's go, Arister. They score! The goalie was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on him. Now this stinks for the goaltender, Edzo. He stops about 85% of this puck. That's not enough. It just trickles past him. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. The checks with a center ice faceoff win. He's got that pass off the right wing and can move ahead. He's in! Play is stopped for a penalty. Rammer is going to the box. It's a tripping minor. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Waits with it. Oh, what a block. Shoots. Oh, what a glove he's got there. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Tips it back. Oh, my, what a save. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. The checks get a minor for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. Good place to shoot from. They score! And they've tied the game up. When you're thinking about taking a wrist shot, it's all about weight transfer. Transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck. That's exactly what happened there. dolpy has been shaking his head since this puck went in. He stopped about 90% of it. It's not enough. Eventually, someone will free up some ice. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. They score! A shorthanded goal for multiple times in this game. You score on a snapshot from the sideboards, you need a little luck. This shot just overpowers him. He's in the right position. He stops a big chunk of it, but not enough as the puck's in the goal. Team Czech Republic's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. The first period has come to an end. We're here in a tight game. Not a big deficit to make up, just one goal. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative stories. Horak's goal has made the difference so far, but is it the winner? Intermission time is here.
Neither team is giving up much in the way of room or scoring chances. Every inch of the ice is being contested. It's been a pretty a wonderful shot answered quickly. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Gains the zone and looks over his options. They can't find the target. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. He scores! Three straight goals. This is one shot I wish more young hockey players would use. Everybody wants to take the big slapper. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick it comes off your stick. And that was quick. Unlike the glove side, the goalie doesn't have to catch this. He's just got to get his blocker on it. I don't know how he misses this one. Over eight minutes have transpired. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Team Czech Republic's carrying on up the wing. Flings it right above the goalie's shoulder off the crossbar. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Wrist shot. Puck covered, whistle blown. The shooter's not often aiming the puck. He wants to get rid of it as quickly as he can. This was a beautiful relief, but it clanged off the crossbar. Fires. Solid pad save. Reagan's able to close the space where the forward thinks he's got some open area, and then he lays a thunderous hit on it. Over three minutes to be played in the second. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Good face-off win. Many yards gained to Pitlick. The Czechs are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his... That was textbook. Excellent job. And now the players five on five are back to work. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the playing surface at any time during the game. The throwing of any object is grounds for immediate removal from this building. Team Czech Republic's insurance goal has staked them to the two-goal lead that you would expect them to have. Here it is one more time. We'll return after these words. Perfect passing right through center. In all alone. Paddle the side. The Czechs have it in their own end. Oh, what a collision in open ice. You come through that area of the ice, somebody's looking to light you up. That's a marvelous save. You can't make an easier save than that on a three-on-one. That was really poorly played by the offense. He takes that point pass. Let's it go. Got the score for That's the shot there, Edzo, low to the stick side. The goaltender can't get to it. The Czech Republic's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Boy, this puck had a lot of steam on it, but unfortunately he turned his hands over, and that's great save at the edge of the crease. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. My, what a hit. Sometimes the hits sound a little more solid. He delivered that right into the board. You could feel the board shake. Moss is not going to get up very quickly after that. That was a solid hit. Guys, bone-jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. 
Moss is in some distress. He went back to the bench for only a moment and then now gone back to the dressing room for evaluation with the trainer. Walked right by me. That's some kind of upper body injury. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. A shot above the net. Wonderful chance. He tried to be too fine with the shot up and over the net. And there it is. The game is over. It was a big score of victory and a decisive amount of time that the winners had the puck. The coaching staff has to be extremely pleased with the energy and effort that their team played with. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.